Hey everybody, this is Coo Impact with a new Let's Play, a intermission Let's Play of sorts. This is a fan request game. It is called Pokemon Go Go Go! Ah, you can tell that, uh, you probably can tell by my rip and tear mentality that a lot of been, a lot of, a lot, a lot of Doom been played lately. And by that I mean there's been also a lot of, uh, oh boy, how do I put this? So, if you're in the future, right now, it is a quarantine hell. Uh, across most of the world United States especially uh, level I oh my god this is the most trippy effect ever would you please stop for 10 seconds game it's gonna have seizures later uh, I also apologize for any gorilla footage as I will call it as much as it doesn't look like it's gonna be gorilla footage I I could not get this thing to emulate properly in any emulator meow what are you doing you you're you're, you're talking about that Celine Dion. Meowth, this is not an appropriate time for Celine Dion. So I very fear... Oh, I don't know, man. I'm not very feared right now myself. The rest of the world, it's very feared. What are you talking about? Also, why is there a magic arse... Like, magicka symbol on that door? It almost syncs up with the music, the lyrics. Just, uh, you are my nightmare! I am your nightmare! I am your nightmare. So, if you didn't know what was going on about this, this is some... This is one of those hack... Like, what do you call them? ROM hacks of sorts? Actually, just straight up a bootleg. This is one of those crazy bootlegs from a different country. China, more than likely, with the characters that I've seen on the front screen. But could easily have been somewhere else close by. Of the game Smurfs Nightmare. Oh, there he is. It's our boy. Thumbs up at you. Now, the game is gonna be clunky. So what you do is you take these keys and you can unlock doors with them. I know the doors don't have the locks in this version. The Sasparil the Sasparilla Leaf. Oh my god, I almost said Sas Gorilla and then fucked it up in a completely different way. Ugh. Can't even get my references straight. Uh, we can't go down the well yet. We require something to go down it. These, All these doors, they can be open. We're not going to open them in the order, like, in any other particular order than um, left to right. I can't see a thing without my glasses. That, that's the most normal Pokemon I've seen. Drillbur. And, uh, well, yeah, we have a Score Bunny here. Because uh, this is Pokemon Go Sword and Shield. He needs a Carrot. Gosh, the game sure is running really slow, eh, Pikachu? Hopefully this is recording decently enough. Ugh. I tried so hard. It's a re- There's some reasons, and these reasons are... The, the Impact Project didn't actually approve of me to play this game just because there was no really easy way to run it. But who's playing it anyways? You know, we're in quarantine. This is what's gonna happen. All you future people out there who see this video, understand what's going on right now. The world is in turmoil. The economy's taking a shit, and that shit's taking a shit. And trust me, as a guy who's been trying to keep himself fiscally inclined when the whole household here has collapsed, it's not easy. So instead, let's have a little fun little game with Pikachu over here. You know, a little fun little game. And by that, I mean, where the hell are those sarsaparilla leaves? Because these motherfuckers, that ain't leaves, that's thunder. Razor Leaf clearly is an attack that Pikachu cannot learn. I don't even know. Actually, can Pikachu learn Power Whip? Because I know that everything in fucking Sword and Shield can learn Power Whip now. It's like everything. Give it Grass type move. Uh, that was an invincibility potion. Hi, Meowth. Bye, Meowth. Uh, it makes people like Meowth a joke. We could just run through him and kill him. Now, a little history here. History lesson. Uh, Smurf's Nightmare is actually on several consoles. I've actually played it on a different console than this console. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was on Game Boy Color until I looked it up. So there you go. You know, Koo learned that this was a Game Boy Color game as well as the game. I think I played it on Genesis, but it might have not been Genesis. It might have been Nintendo. Point is, there are other versions of this, and there are other versions of this hack made by different people. It's not even the same people. Uh, I can distinctly recall that Vinny from Vine Sauce actually played a hack of this version 
where uh, it, it still had the Gargamel in the beginning, but the, the sprite was still Pikachu. It was like a redrawn Pikachu. It wasn't even this exact same Pikachu. So the fact that they keep redoing this game as, uh, as Pokemon, it just blows my mind. You know, Smurfs, Pokemon, I think of the same thing right here. What even blows my mind even more is that this is like an extensively redone hack. Because this whole level right here is supposed to be a kitchen with cakes and forks and shit. And, um, as you can see, not, that's not what it looks like. It looks like Ronald McDonald Land or maybe a Sega game. Actually, you know what? Kinda looks like Dynamite Heady without all the mechanical toy parts. Which is cool, which is cool. We bounce around, we dance to the ballroom smurf tonight. Oh, there, oh. His bubble Pikachu face just looks meh. It just looks wrong. So there's the bubble power up. That's This is a health power up. Jokey boxes are still jokey boxes. I think this game does not contain the bonus rounds. Which, you know, thank fucking lord it does not contain the bonus rounds. I wish it had full frames to move at full frames. But, alas, we cannot get everything. We can lose our bonus rounds, which saves us on time. But we, we end up losing the frames. We don't actually save frames. Because the levels take twice as long to beat. This is supposed to be, like, way faster than this. Like, even the music is slowed down because of all the flickering and shit. Game's kind of cobble fucked together. But, uh, you can see I can do the double jump now. That's because my lightning meter is Pika Pika. Well, it's at Pika. And soon we'll be at Pika Pika. And then if we fill it up, we'll be at Pika Pika P. And once we're at Pika Pika P, we can, uh, do the Samus Aran fucking screw attack. The ultimate jump. I will not be fell uh, I will not be filling the meter up in all the levels. I'm gonna go for this one in this level just to demonstrate it you don't need the highest jump for most of the levels you do need the highest jump for one of the later levels or at least i think like that is if this is even the same all like so far it's looking like it's one to one from the one i played and that was that was a while ago that was back when 2012 Let's Play? I I mean, it was on the Let's Play, uh, let's just say docket. I know that's a term that I might be misusing here, but um, back in the day I used to have a Let's Play docket that, that would tell people what's what's going on, what's upcoming and all that shit. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually had one of those. I kind of just, since we're doing the whole block format now, I only need to release the uh, block schedule. Yeah, now we can do, do the, we can do the peek peek pee the ultimate jump. I mean, we're always at base Pika. I mean, it's Pokemon Go, Go, and then Go. That's my three lines. You know, Go, then you Go, Go, then you Go, Go, Go! Let's go, let's go! I don't know what this is trying to capitalize on. Pokemon Go or Let's Go series. And I'm fairly sure those things on the ground are spikes below me. I can't, rem I can't remember if spikes are insta-death. I really don't want to take the chance. I will be using save states because there's an occasional chance that the game will completely bug out. Like it's already doing because that carrot's not supposed to be on the ground. And if it completely bugs out, then we might be in, a, in an unwinnable state if I don't have a state to load to. I'll have to like reset. And this is a password game. There's no in-game saves. What if they change the password screen to be Pokemon? I'm not sure. So, uh, I want to, oh, don't speed up in this game. Sometimes it goes, like, yeah, you gotta lightly tap the speed up button. It'll go too fast. Uh, we need a really good bounce off the edge. Like, bam! So you triple jump. I'm almost a full meter. Almost 100% meter. Got 100% meter, yeah! Alright, now we're gonna get up. We're gonna get up there. Get up there! Come on. You can do it, Pukachu. You can do it, Smurfachu. Don't you always hate it when the Smurfs always use different words? Oh, hey, the carrot. It's not supposed to be visible, I think. So right now I'm on a bunch of candles or something. Yeah, I think it's candles in the original version. Candles in a cake. And I'm supposed to do the down crunch to kill him. If it would register, please... 
Thank you. Like, fuck's sake. Just register that shit. Got a carrot! Now I can feed that bunny rabbit. But we're not out of the woods yet. Once you get the item you need in the in the dream world, the nightmare world, you need to take that item back to the guy. Well, you need to get you need to kill a boss to get out. And I'm actually going to probably end it here. So I'll see you guys all next time.